Keith, we're told multiple factors led to this outcome. It's alleged that Andrew Warren did not pursue criminals to the fullest extent of his power. The governor also says that Warren would pick and choose what laws to enforce, and prosecutors just don't have that power. And so today, we are suspending state attorney Andrew Warren, effective immediately. Tonight, one of Florida's most outspoken progressive prosecutors is out. Governor Ron DeSantis suspending Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren effective immediately, removing him from office and naming his replacement. County Judge Susan Lopez will now lead the team of 130 prosecutors and the state's fourth most populous county. I will follow the rule of law. The move drawing rebuke from the governor's critics. They say this prosecutor has criticized DeSantis and this is a politically motivated attack. The governor's suspension of state attorney Warren is not political to me. It's about law and order. But law enforcement and Warren's own jurisdiction stood by the governor, claiming for years Warren has refused to prosecute certain crimes, reduced charges, and dropped cases. Tampa PD's former police chief taking a break from retirement to weigh in. Andrew Warren is a fraud. He has misled our community. And it's time that we that our governor stepped in. Florida's constitution gives DeSantis the power to remove elected officials. Article 1, Section 7 states in part, the governor may suspend any county officer for neglect of duty or incompetence. Andrew Warren was elected by the people of Hillsborough County not once but twice. So what do you say to people in the community who say that you're taking their vote away? Well, the conduct that he has done has fell below the standard that's required in the Florida Constitution. I have to do this. I mean, that's my job to ensure that the laws are faithfully executed. So also in explaining his decision, the governor pointed to statements that Warren has made on transgender issues and abortion. Warren has said that he would not enforce Florida's new abortion law. Now, the governor has utilized